Hello. <laughs> Oops, did that my mistake. Right, you all right? You all right? We were playing some In Cold Blood. Look at all these lovely games. Do you know what? I, when I was a kid, I would have like, this would have been like my dream. My dream come true to have all these games. And now as an adult, I don't play any of them because <laughs> I don't have time. It's that thing, isn't it? Where you go back and tell yourself that you'd ha you could have any game from the that you wanted. All these games that are on the shelf, you could have any of them. They're all at the at your fingertips. Can you hear me, by the way? Come and tell me you can hear me. Hearing and seeing, vitally important. Oh, there we are, we are live. I was just double checking because it was saying on my phone that we weren't live. You never know. Right, what should we play? Should I get back into In Cold Blood straight away? Where were we up to? What were we doing last time? I think we were in a mine. We were looking for an American secret agent and uh, we judo chopped a load of people and we uh we what did we do lots of bean puns that's about it really that's all i can remember so this i don't know if this is going to work because because it being a, a game that wasn't originally preloaded i don't know if i'm ever going to be able to change disc i did put both images of the discs on there though so in theory it should work in theory communism works Right, what are we doing? Can I hear myself? There we go. There we go. So we're in the mine. Let's go talk to this guy here. Does he want to talk about football? I suppose I should have put a football t-shirt on, really, Excuse shouldn't I? Excuse me, I'm looking for Sparsky. Yeah, that's me. Listen, I'm a friend of Professor Tolstoy. He said you could help me. Are you the agent everyone is looking for? Oh, shall I say yes or no? Nah, say no. You mean the American? No. There is another. Security are after him. They've released a couple of robots to track him down. Really? Does he stand a chance? Only if he escapes through the mine. If he were to disable the elevators behind him, it might slow the robot. I'll tell him if I see him. If he isn't already dead. Okay, so there's a robot coming after us. Football, football, football. I should have worn my football, football, football t-shirt, shouldn't I? I've got a t-shirt that's covered in footballs. So I should have really worn that. So this guy's got a robot chasing after Do you know what? There are robots in this game that are a bit of a pain, actually. I seem to remember. One does recall. Uh, maybe the football's done with on this. I mean, the football season is done. In real life. How could I disable the elevator? The only way... Would be to remove the fuse. Is that it? <laughs> I thought there was going to be more. I thought there'd be more from that guy. Clearly not. So we have to remove the fuse. There's a lot of fuses in this game. Fuses everywhere. Does this lift work? So we're John Cord. We bounce off walls like nobody else's business. Uh, if you run up the walls at a certain angle, you just ping off, which is really annoying, I've decided. Can we go in the lift? How do we judo chop? I can't remember what to judo chop. That's it. We're going to need that. We're going to need to judo chop everybody. Even this guy. Well, we, can't, we can't judo chop the nice guys. I 
Okay, so we've got a guard. And let's just watch what he's doing. Spinning around. So I guess we'll try and sneak up on him and judo chop him because that's what we do with every guard in this game. Oh, 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 oh. Spoke too soon. Do you forget that we were there? Do you that kind of guard? Yep, he's completely forgotten we existed. Gone about his normal business. What a scatterbrain. <laughs> he's just unloaded a clip of ammunition on us and then just gone, ah, well, he's gone in that room now. I guess that'll be okay. Then we can hide behind those barrels over there. Maybe we can. Oh, he's having a little break. We could judo chop him now. Oh, no, maybe not. Aha. Do you think he's going to... I mean, he might see us behind there. We're going to try and judo chop him when he goes behind. And, and I need some more... Um, a theme for our one-liners as we take people down. There, there he is. There he is. We had beans last time. Judo chop. There we go. John Cord is a bit like one punch man, isn't he? He just takes people down with one blow. What a guy. Is that all the lady... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's seen me. And we're dead. And we're dead. Uh, good evening. How are you? No. There is someone at my front door. Bear with me one sec. I will be back. Got it. My son left his inhaler at Beavers. And the guy from Beavers has just dropped it off for us, which is very kind of him. Uh, especially since my son literally leaves it at Beavers every single time. Every single time without fail. Right, I'm going to. I did a save scum on that, so I'm going to come back to that. So, how is everybody? What's everyone doing? Is everyone enjoying the non football season? So what are the two teams in this? Spartak, Donetsk and something else. Right, don't save over. Don't save over. We'll have another go at that. A little bit out of practice. It's been a while since I've judo chopped someone in the back of the head. Except for this morning at, at work. Excuse me, I'm looking for Sparsky. Uh, that's me. Listen, I'm a friend of Professor Tolstoy. He said you could help me. Are you the agent? We're, yes. We are standing on... American who escaped. He was down here. They searched for him. But they didn't find him. Maybe he is still... You know they are searching for you now. It doesn't... I just heard... We've, we've suddenly we've done this already. He, you can't fight him. Any suggestions? Get out of here. And fast. I'll leave once I've found my friend Kiefer. You could try. Thank you. Is anybody weirded out by how uncomfortably close these two are standing to each other? They are literally nose to nose. How could I disable the elevator? The only way would be to remove the fuse. Thanks, mate. Okay. Done with you. Uh, are they random made up teams? Yeah, those two. I think those two are random made up teams. I think every, all the places in this game are random and made up. Uh, there's Spartak Moscow, isn't there? So there's the this, there's a team that sounds like that. What were the what were the two teams called again? Spartak and is it Donetsk or something? Well, Volgi is not a real place, is it? Right, let's get over there. I don't know if they can, I don't think they can hear you if you run. So 
don't think there's any benefit in doing that. So we hid behind here, we judo chopped. We judo chopped. Uh, so big news, uh, Steve, is it Steve Ince, the art director of the Broken Sword Games, has officially retired today. What an absolute ledge. Was he the art director? I'm not quite sure. I know I've seen him on Twitter. Ow, ow! Oh. You don't get much chance if you get caught, really, do you? Yeah, Steve, Steve Ince, the guy who did the, the art for Broken Sword, is uh, is officially retired. So I'm going to have a, look on the, a quick look on the group and see what it actually says about him. Uh, Broken Sword writer Steve Ince announces his retirement. Broken Sword writer Steve Ince announces his retirement. After 30 years in the games industry, the writer's credits include Resident Evil, Village... Tears of Avia and The Bunker. Stevens, writer of the Broken Sword franchise, has announced his retirement. Wow, what a career he's had though. Look at those are those are quite some achievements there. Resident Evil Village, Tears of Avia, The Bunker, and obviously Broken Sword. He's officially retired. See the game this industry is so young that people are only just retiring from it. That's crazy, isn't it? I mean, Broken Sword has some of the best writing of any game ever, so... His earliest video game credit was serving as the animator... Oh, so he did do some of the drawings as well. On Beneath the Steel Sky for the Amiga CD32. Ince's first game's writing was Broken Sword The Smoking Mirror for the PC. Ah, so he, he started on Broken Sword 2. Cool. Well... Excuse me, I'm looking for Sparks. There you go. Yeah, that's me. Listen... Uh Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. You know. Yeah. Oh. Get. You could. Thank you. This. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Should we save again? Save early. Say. Should we just save loads? Because I have a feeling we're going to die a lot here. I really want to just judo chop everybody. I'm doing that thing where I'm saving ammo for later on in the game. <laughs> as, as if there's going to be some big... Oh, no, I've done it again. As if there's going to be some big boss at some point. It must have been different. Yeah, we can't be dead because... This is all a flashback, isn't it? Right, come on, concentrate. I'm gonna I'm gonna concentrate now. I'm gonna really focus. Run. Oh, get caught again. Right, I'm just gonna leg it. No. I've gotta take out those guards, haven't I? Yeah, I don't think the teams in here in this game <laughs> were are real teams. It's the other guy that's catching me out. It's not the guy walking across the bridge. It's the other guy, which I can't see at the moment. <laughs> Investigate mine. That's what we're doing. We're dying in this mine. This this mine is our, our grave. It's a clue. It is a clue. Well, is the clue... Oh, is he stretching? He's having a little stretch. So when he comes back, he has a little stretch, doesn't he? So maybe we're just maybe patience is the key. And that guy stretches over there. Let's just hide behind the barrel. 
Yeah, the clue is to investigate the mine. Which is what we need to do. When he's coming back, we're going to judo chop him. And that guy's not there. There he is. No, he's going to see us now if we do it now, surely. Right, he's turned around. Judo chop. Come on. No, 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 no. This bit's quite. This is this is suddenly become difficult. Right, he's coming back. The guys, the other guys, turned around. Turn around. Have you stretch? Have you stretch? Have you stretch? Judo chop. Right, that's that done. I'm gonna just re recenter myself over here. Investigate mine. Right, now do we just take this guy out and shoot him, do you think? Take him bloody out and shoot him. That's what I always say. That's what um, Brian Clough used to say. You miss that, you want bloody shooting. Yeah, I was thinking that. Judo chop. I always judo chop the first guy and then get my gun and just blow the other blow the other away. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think there's I don't think there's any way I can get to him and judo chop him. Or do you think there is? Are we going for a full judo chop run? I've saved, so I'm going. I'm no wait. I'm gonna wait and see. I bounced straight off that barrel. Though. I'm going in for a judo chop. Okay. I'm going to wait till he comes back, wait till he turns around, have it as his stretch, and then we're going to leg it, hide behind that red thing, whatever it is, and smack him in the back of the head. Ah, uh, well, if you've not done it, then I don't think anyone can. Oh, I've messed it. Hide, hide, hide. Oh my god. Oh my god, we can't hide. It won't let us go there. Oh, we could have hide. Oh. Do you know what? I think it's doable. I think it's doable if we hide behind the minecart. We're having it. We're having him. I'm going to assume that they don't die when we judo chop them, so I'm going for a, a, a pacifist run. <laughs> judo, what is that? That emoji of? Oh, is it a judo uniform? Legit, legit hide. Forgot there are more, yeah. Yeah, we're going for a pacifist run, we're judo chopping everybody. That guy there is just sleeping. Alright, go. Get in there. God, this is tense. Right. Um, do we get him on the way back? I mean, if we come out now, we're going to get... Oh, what? <laughs> no. As if. As if he saw us there. My go-to tactic was always to shoot and wait for the guys to come in from off screen and then keep shooting them all. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that. I think my dream of being a, a judo chopper has uh, has been sunk. And for what I remember, he's got pretty good accuracy. So as long as you, he can get you from quite a distance. This is for Stevens. There we go. That was for you, Steve. Let 
Let's crouch like we need the toilet. And uh, now we hide behind here. We can't move the bodies or anything like that. Alright, we've got that guy there. Oh, he spotted his mate. Alright, have it. Okay. We dealt with them. The the enemy AI really misses, but if you can get the first shot in your yeah, you want to get the first they 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 they're pinned down, aren't they? They can't do anything if you get the first shot in. Right, let's just feel this man's bottom. Nope, that's judo chop. There we go. Let's just touch this man. I mean, he's just asleep, and we've just um, give a good feel of him there. He loved it, really. He loved it. Nice shooting, Tex. What's that from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice shooting, Tex. Yeah, doing that. We're doing the old gropey search. Oh, we got some health. We're going to need to use that, aren't we? I can't fight. Yeah, there's the other guy. I've got some ammo off him. Right. We need to sort health out. How do I look through the... There we go. Medical boost pack. We're going to need to use that. Sorted. Full health. And we'll save. Ghostbusters. That's what it's from. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice shooting, Tex. It's when uh, they're uh, trying to catch Slimer, isn't it? Must not touch my face. My mum tells me I have to touch my face on this live stream. But I've just got the kind of face you want to touch. If I wasn't me, I'd still be touching my face. Look at that. Pinning, pinging off walls. Let's go deeper into this mine where they're mine. They're mining um, uh, Iron Man suits, aren't they? Duranium or whatever. Whatever Captain America's sword is made out of. Oh, it's a big fizzy thing. I'm not a scientist, but that is a big fizzy electricy thing. What does the sign say? I can sidestep, can't I? Let's do that. I can't see. I can't see anything. <laughs> I want to read this sign. I don't know whether I'm in front of it or behind it. Nope. Right. Fizzy thing. What are you? Can I touch it? Oh, he said something about a fuse, didn't he? Now, nothing says this is an important thing to look at than that when it actually zooms right into it for you. Thanks, developers. We get a nice look at the character model again. Maybe it's best not to have a close-up of the character model. I mean, he's all right from, like, certain angles. And he's really good in silhouette. He's got a good, like, frame posture to him. But he just looks like he's been through a mangle. What an incredible machine. Looks like a couple of power cells and space for a third. Ah. Have we got any power cells? Nope. What an incredible machine. Looks like a couple of power cells and space for a third. Where are you at this point? Are you still to find Kiefer and you found him? No, no, I'm not found Kiefer. Uh, so we know he's in the mine, and we know he's being chased by a uh, a robot. He's being chased by a bot. He's being chased by a YouTube bot. Um, they're after his bank details. Um, there's a there's a YouTube bot who's pretending to be a Nigerian prince after Kiefer. I believe once you find the Kiefer, the robot will come for you almost straight away. Have you swapped the elevator around so it's left at the bottom? No. No, I have not. <laughs> so is that back where I was before? Q. 
you know what? That rings such a bell now you've said it. Because you're gonna, we we have to like leg it, don't we? When the when the robots come. That's kind of like uh, real life now, isn't it? The robots are here, aren't they? We've got all these AIs telling us what to do. Well, not really. Do we need to go this way? Ah, there we go. Huh? There's a big gun. There's a big scary gun. I don't want to be shot by a big scary gun. What do I do? What to do I do? Have I just muted myself? I hope I haven't. Every time I touch my mic I mute myself. Um, right. Yes, you have to leave the big elevator down at the bottom and take the smaller service elevator back to where the Sparky is. The elevator slows the robot's pursuit of you. Okay. Okay. Do I need to be over here yet? Because this looks really dangerous over here. This looks like bad news. Yeah, that looks that doesn't look great, does it? Like it. I it just looks like a gun pointing at me, but it's not done anything. Right, who are you on the floor? I can't see anything. Is it just me? Can we turn the brightness up? Audio visual. Right, we want. No. No, we can't turn the brightness up. Because I can't walk that way. There's a ladder. Oh, there we go. I hope that isn't what I think it is. Is it Kiefer? So that's Kiefer, isn't it? It's Kiefer. Kostov was right. He never made it out alive. He must have been hit by the minigun, then crawled under the ledge. Sorry, Kiefer. I got here as quick as I could. Mission failed. Okay. So I think, as you said, I think we might be scuppered here because I've just found... We found Kiefer, but we're going to get a robot in our face, aren't we? How do I crouch again? Crouch, crouch, crouch. Right. Hello? What's this? Some sort of trinephaline power cell? Whatever it is, Kiefer got himself killed trying to get it out. Okay. There's something on his wrist. His communications device. Maybe my remora can link with it. Download it. Information on trinephaline. Excellent. So if I go in my database, trinephaline, where is it? Encoded data. Ah. I'm sure the boys in London will make short work of it. Also known as blue nephilim, is a naturally occurring compound found only in the meteor deposits in the region of Volgia. Trinephilim is formed by the fusion of nephilim with the mineral What is it? Skungite. Skungite is characterized by durability, electroconductivity, high density, and chemical stability. Once fused with nephilim, the properties of trinephilim are extremely extraordinary, both as fuel and a catalyst. Bolgian scientists have developed processes using trinephaline, including coal fusion process, to create almost limitless power, and superconductive repulsor coils, which are unlimited power. They're going all um, 
Emperor Palpatine, aren't they? That's what they're doing. Right. Means nothing to me, though, because we've got to judo chop some people. So we've got the fuse. And I reckon you're telling me that if I go back and put this fuse in that machine, I'm going to get a robot on my bum if I don't sort out this elevator situation. So let's go sort the lifts out. If I can see, it's really dark, this part of the game. Uh, it's okay with the robot, just leg it. The elevator trick with the robot just buys you slightly more time to leg it, but it can still be done either way. I think I'm going to need the time, because if I start bouncing off walls like I have been doing, I think that's going to be really useful. What's over here? Damn. Oh. There it is. I mean, I have to find another that was a, way through. That was a pre-rendered cutscene that showed us the guy we judo chopped. So I'm guessing we had to judo chop him. Oh my god. He's after us. Oh. Oh my god. Probably a really, really bad time to say because I'm about to die. But I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. No, we've got no chance there. I must have, I must admit it, I don't think the robots appeared this early. And, uh, we can't destroy the robot. Where am I trying to get to? That's my question. So once the robot appears, which lift am I going for? Am I going for the, the lift that I came down in? Back to the machine missing the fuse. Put the fuse in. Is that what I'm doing? Right, let's just see if I can get away from him here. I probably won't be able to. I'll probably have to come back and do this again. Ooh, this is tricky. Ooh. No. Oh. Nah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to redo it. I'm going to have to go back and have another crack at this. That was 10 minutes before I said last save, though. <laughs> Elevator before Kiefer, then Kiefer, then run to the mine, to the fizzy machine. Right, okay. On it. On it like a carb on it. So, where's the elevator? Back this way. Is it? Do you mean this elevator? This elevator, though. I'm not quite sure which elevator you mean. I can't remember which one we came down on. Was it this one in here? Or was it? I think I think it was the one out there, wasn't it? So do I need to do something with this one? I've told you all I know. Actually, I'm wrong. You have to disable the, that main elevator. There's a fuse you have to remove upstairs. Oh, Excuse I'm so me. confused. I've told you all I know. Ah, right. Okay. So I can stop the the robot from coming down in the first place. Didn't I pull a fuse out though? Right. So I'm going to go back up here. Okay. 
I'm on it. Because I wasn't surviving that um, that situation with the robot. This elevator's a health hazard. No way am I getting in there. Okay. Oh, they're back. These guys are back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I killed them last time I played. This must be the fuse for the main elevator. I can't budge it. It's held fast. So I can't get that out. So I need to figure out how to get that out. Hmm. That'll be the elevator that's in the little hut, isn't it? All sense of subtlety has gone out the window now because I need to figure out what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so take the small elevator in West Sparky, West, in West Sparky's upstairs, remove the fuse, come back down in the small elevator. You need to leave the main elevator at the bottom mine, then take Sparky ele elevator upstairs, remove the fuse, take Sparky elevator back down again. Okay. Got it. Got it. So I need to take that. Right. Sparky the guy in the hut, yeah? So Sparky's the guy in the mine. Right, okay. This is complicated. Where's my dirty tissue? Why can't I show a dirty tissue to an old lady? What were you thinking, Revolution? Right, okay. I'm on it. I know what we're doing. We're running effeminately through a mine. We're going to get in this lift. And it's going to go up. It's not doing though. It's not going anywhere. That lift doesn't work. Excuse me. I've told you all I know. Yeah, so I'm assuming I the, the the fuse can have been removed. The main elevator's at the bottom, so I need to go up in this. Is that right? But I can't go up in this.
Right. I'm a bit stuck, really. So I know, I know I've got to get the other lift down, and I've got to get that lift up. Ask Sparky about the lift. He doesn't want to talk to me, though. There's definitely a way to... This is like the rope thing, isn't it? I've just not activated the, um, the right response. Maybe I'll point my gun at him. Can't remember how, though. Maybe it might be upstairs with a Remora connection. I thought Sparky tells you how to do it. Right. I think you're right, and we just need to figure out the uh, the way it works. Maybe I can just link up with the thing, the lift itself. Let's try pointing our gun at him. Let's see if that helps. Technicians can help me. Why try and shoot them? Because you need to get the lift working, you pillock. Excuse me. I've told you all I know. Okay, but tell me about the lift. <laughs> Why won't the lift work? Let's try the remora. I are link. Nope. Comms. No, nope, can't can't call for help. Database. Main elevator fuse must be removed before carrying out any maintenance work. Before removing fuse, elevator car must be at the bottom of the shaft to, shaft to avoid risk of brake failing on power loss. So that basically tells us what you've been saying, which is the main elevator must be at the bottom. So maybe because we've read that, we can ask about it. Yeah, so maybe that maybe we can ask about the main elevator now. Can we? Is there anything on Sparksky? No. I think this is the key thing, isn't it? This remora. I think if we don't deal with this, right? Come on, give us some love. Give us some love. Excuse me. I've told you all <sighs> I know. But tell me about the lift situation. We just we haven't we haven't got the right information, have we? Let's make sure we've. As, so we've got Kiefer, Dimitri, Alexandra, Tolstoy, heavy duty pistol. That's not, none of that's going to help us. Yeah, that lift works. So I'm definitely pressing the right button when I get in the lift. It's just not doing anything. But he's not saying anything either. He's not saying, oh, the, there's no there's no power to this lift or anything like that. Um, can we call the lift up? Maybe we have to. Maybe we have to be up here and call the lift to us somehow. And not get killed doing it. I don't know how I did this when I was like 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm literally. If if I'm encountering an enemy, I'm saving because I. There's one thing being stuck on a puzzle, and there's one thing dying whilst you're being stuck on a puzzle. But don't copy that floppy. No, I. Do you know what? Oh, hello. I think we. I think we might be onto something here. I think this is the machine we need to go to. I was, I was I was reading something about um, emulation and it's basically piracy and all that kind of stuff. But I'd be quite happy to to buy this game again if it was made available. 
I own a copy of this game. I bought a copy of this game. I've got two copies of this game. Um, and the only reason I'm playing it emulated, I suppose, is because it looks better on this screen. Because if you play it in PS1, it just looks blurry as anything. Right, come on. Get that lift moving. Uh, Remora, general elevator maintenance information. Elevator Tell platform. The auxiliary elevator. Okay. Uh, do you want to enable this elevator? Oh, yeah. I have never wanted anything more than to enable the auxiliary elevator right now. It is my lifelong dream to enable that auxiliary elevator. Give me the fuse details. Yeah, we know that already, don't we? Show me the information. Okay, so that in theory should be uh, activated now, should it not? So I should be able to go get the fuse. Did I group these guys or not? Let me let me just double check. I'm in such a tizzy about this lift. I forgot to touch these men. Where is it? Where's that lift? So I'm going to leave that one there, that's for sure. I should now be able to take this what's it? This must be the fuse for the main elevator. Oh, go on, have it. I can't budge it. What? It's held fast. Oh, so hang on. So that's not the main main elevator is the other thing. What? Is that the main elevator then? Uh, did this game sell well back back in the day? I think it did okay. Not enough to ever get a sequel. As I said, the uh, the guys who made it made most of their money off these PlayStation games, so. All the royalties that they made uh, came for that, and it, and I think it bombed a little bit because it got a four out of ten in Edge magazine. So it sold quite well despite that, but yeah, four out of ten in Edge magazine is not good. I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad. Four out of ten. I mean, come on. I know they're a bit hardcore, but Edge magazine, but really. There's a lot worse games than this out of the time. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I'd solve that puzzle. IR link. Yeah, so it's better than a four out of ten. Tell me about the auxiliary elevator. If auxiliary elevator is enabled, stand on pressure plate to activate. Auxiliary elevator has been enabled. So is this like a, a little, so do I need to go back down, go up? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing in my life playing this game from like 1999 and being confused by it? I'm going to go back down and check out, check out what happens with it. It completely disappeared, the character model when I went in that lift, by the way. Yeah, it's better, it's better than a four out of 10. Four out of ten is harsh. If it's got faults with the gameplay and the shooting combat and stuff, then that's that's one thing. But I don't think that takes it down to a four out of ten. I think the the concept is intriguing. The puzzles are okay. Right, it says I should stand on the pressure plate in this lift. There we go. Right. Have we achieved something now? Have we, have we done something with our lives now?
Okay, so that's up. We have that elevator up. So I think now we can take the fuse, can't we? Don't want to go that way, because I don't want to deal with that guy at all. I do not want to deal with that guy. He does have really long legs, doesn't he? He's got a tiny little torso and really, really long legs. Fuse is in this room, I think. Nope, we're back at the elevator again. I think it's in in the one. It's in one of these rooms somewhere. How can you bounce off walls? It's crazy. There it is. Give me that fuse. This must be the fuse for the main elevator. Oh. That should slow down the robots for a while. <laughs> yeah. Right. We have slowed down some robots. So now we can go back. Do we go back on this one? Yes, because we can call this one, can't we? There we go. That's all it took. Nope, maybe not. So we go back on the other lift. I'm going to save it because I'm not. I'm still not convinced I'm doing the right thing here. I'm going to go back down on this lift and that should still slow down the robot. Investigate mine, investigate mine, investigate mine. Investigate mine. Investigate mine. I mean, this game is good enough that they're still selling it now. It's on good old games. That's something to be said. Something to be said. Right, back to Kiefer Sutherland, and we are going to get the fuse. We're gonna we're gonna absolutely leg it. Not bounce. Oh, see that was, I was trying to get across the bridge then, and I've just pinged in the wrong direction. Which way was he? It was that way, wasn't he? Left. Hell, it's a laser trip minigun. If I had a penny for every time I've been shot at by a laser trip minigun. Okay. Beep. Beep beep. Beep beep beep. Go! Right, I feel pretty satisfied that we're going to be okay now. I think it is. Down, 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 down. Yeah, I wonder how this game did sell. It's Kiefer. Kostov was right. He never made it out alive. He must have been hit by the minigun, then crawled under the ledge. Sorry, Kiefer. I got here as quick as I could. Hello? What's this? Some sort of trinephaline power cell? Whatever it is, Kiefer got himself killed trying to get it out. And there's something on his wrist. His communications device. Maybe my rem Download it. Information on trinephaline. Excellent. Okay. Are we still going to get attacked by a robot? That's the question I'm asking. 
Because I really don't like that robot. He's uh, <laughs> he's too he's too good for me. There ain't no memory card in slot one, by the way. It's a virtual memory card. Oh, he's still coming. Oh, so that's quite clever, that. See, I like that. That's not a bad puzzle at all. It's not a bad puzzle at all. So, instead of the robot... Ah! Instead of the robot coming straight forwards, it's now got to cut its way through the, the, the top of the lift. So, I've got ample opportunity to not be encumbered by this robot as I try and get to where I need to be. That's all right. I'm giving, I'm, I'm going to give the, that, see that's not a four out of 10. It's a bit annoying and it's a bit annoying to be dying over and over again. That's not a lot of fun, but I feel genuinely satisfied that we've solved a the puzzle there. A good effort, but it doesn't fit. What? Oh, you believe it's just a power cell. That's okay. That's obviously where it's meant to go. It seems to be charged and ready. Well, okay. Fire let's up. See what this thing can do. Yeah, let's just stand right in the middle of it as well. <laughs> The goggles, they do nothing. No, I didn't ping off all the walls and not be able to use my medikit. That's not what happened. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Tony Warriner, whose book I've read, said ink about in cold blood. At the moment, the sales are roughly the same for broke. At the moment, the sales are roughly the same as for the broken sword games. Oh yeah. <laughs> I suppose almost is well that's really good the broken sword game sold really well and that's where they made all like i said that's where they made all their money to make the uh the games subsequently because sony had big pockets you see so deep pockets so they were yep yeah, yep yeah, done this bit like it yeah, so they made quite a lot of royalties out of these games, which which funded uh, pre, uh, future games. I don't know if this was before. I think it was just after Broken Sword 2. Because Broken Sword 1 ca uh, and 2 came out within a, a year and a bit of each other. And then somebody said, can you make a game that's more action-y 3D? Yeah, they, they did, yeah. I've read the book and that's that's essentially what it was. Said you made us a load of money. Can you make us some more money? But people don't want to play point and click adventure games. They want to play action games. So they came up with this weird hybrid. Maybe he didn't get any world get royalties. Oh, oh, what's happened there? Okay. What an incredible. Looks like a couple of power cells and space for a third. That's obviously where it's meant to go. It seems to be charged and ready. 
This is hilarious, this bit. The fact that he just stands in the okay. middle of this massive, like... Let's see what this thing can do. I mean, however this was designed, surely you'd have to get out of the way. Cool. I want one. I'll take two. Right, okay. Oh, I don't know where the entrance is. Run away. I must run. Try to <sighs> shoot you. So I thought the guy was a. I thought the guy was a, a an enemy. I was trying to shoot him. Warren has said we are pleased with Inco Blood. It has done very well indeed on the PlayStation. Fairly well on the PC. Reading that guy's book, his answer to everything was make a video game. <laughs> as soon as he had a problem, well, I just started making a game. If he lost his job, he'd just start making a game. Like, and this is literally from when he was like a teenager. Anytime there was an issue or he was out of work or didn't know what to do, he would just make a game. I'm going to do, I've not done many YouTube videos, but I think I'm going to do a YouTube video on, on Revolution. Uh, Revolution and the, some of the early games, the non-point and clicky games. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there with this. I'll get there with this. It's mildly frustrating, I'll be honest with you. But we'll get there. This is one of those, those games, I think, that is... <laughs> Got so really good ideas, good story. Just let down by by some dodgy gameplay decisions. I think the puzzles are fine. I think the uh, the control of the character needed to be thought through a little bit more. Beep beep. Beep, 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 go. See that, it's just getting stuck on scenery. It's, that's that's the thing that's annoying me about it. That's just a little bit peev peeving me off. Because Resident Evil had been a while, around for a while, and you, you didn't do that when you hit a wall. You just sort of ran into the wall. There, I'm stuck. There you go. And I wouldn't mind, except for the fact the game wants me to do things really quickly. And with precision. And it's just not allowing me the precision that I need. I need more precision from my ink or blood. Right, let's try this again. This time we are going to run and not stop running. That's obviously where it's meant to go. It seems to be charged and ready. I feel like this game could have a sequel though. I feel like it's worthy of one. Okay. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, skip that. Still not easy this with the with the the robot coming for you. Okay, don't stop. Don't stop till you've had enough. Right, come on, run, run, John. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, I had no I had no control of the character, then I was still losing health. It's turned into Temple of Doom. Brilliant. The 
very impressive, Gorn. What about Keith? Keith is dead. What did I tell you? Let's get out of here. Yeah, full motion video. Love a bit of that. That was all right, wasn't it? That looked all very good. So, oh, hang on. There's more cutscene in. And you came up with a secret. My secret. Blue Nephilim. Who did you tell, Cord? No one. You're lying. Lucian, help Mr. Cord remember. Uh, uh. You told London, didn't you? Yes. Told London. How did Alpha react? Alpha wanted more. Go on. Think back. Remember? Kiefer's data has told us a lot about Trinephaline, John. Now we must find out what Nagarov is doing with the technology. You're going to have to get inside his security HQ, the Pentagrad, plant a bug in the main server, and of course, get out alive. Who helped you, Kord? Someone on the inside. Kostov. Why? He needed me. Here's the deal, English. I get you in so you can plant your little bug. Then, you find the data cell where they keep all their information on me and the VFF. You steal it, you bring it to me. Go on, there's more. The robots. He had a plan. You must take with you an EMP mine. It is very special device my men have built. It will kill these robot guards. Just plug it into a blue recharge point and poof, and they die. You are lucky, English. You are first person to use it in action against real robots. Tell me about the mission. Gregor took me to the Pentagrad. From here, the sewer leads right under the Pentagrad. Remember, there is no other way out except in a body bag. See the copter? What is it? We call it the Angel of Death. Premier Nagarov and Lukia, Chief Interrogator. They only come into the office when there's somebody very special to question. The girl, Alexandra, is in there somewhere. So? This war is full of innocent victims. You want your data cell, Kostov. I'd better get going. Don't forget. Just plug the EMP mine into a blue recharge point. And boof! <laughs> bye bye, robot. As for the guards, the technician's outfit should fool them. If they don't smell me coming. Well, that was intense. So, we got robots. Yeah, he is spilling the secrets, isn't he? Has he been injected with some sort of truth serum? Is that is that what he was holding in his hand though? He was holding like a syringe, wasn't he? So I think that's what might have happened. Now we've got robots. So we saw the robots before and the robots are a pain in the backside. And uh, I, I, rem I remember this part of the game vividly, which I think is a really bad sign. Because I didn't remember any of that first bit that well. And it has been about 25 years since I played this game. But I think we're going to have robots. All they heard was robots EMP. Yeah, so basically we've got an EMP to destroy the robots. The robot in the top left of the screen, you can see a little blue thing. So that's what we'll do. Oh no, it's another robot. I hope Gregor's EMP mine works. So do I. Ooh. What have we got here? We've got EMP mines. A surveillance bug, and uh, we've got a little. We haven't got much ammo. Doesn't take much with him, does he? Lovely backgrounds, though. All lovely backgrounds.
stuck on a wall as usual. I mean, oh, is he going the other way? Right, he's gone it. He's gone in there for a minute. I think we'll just hang here for two secs and see what he does. Whether he comes back out again or whether uh, we need to follow him. <laughs> yeah, bots. Yeah, they're not fun. I need to save. Oh, God, I really need to remember to save. We're watching that cutscene again and again otherwise. We're not going to have Investigate Mine anymore, though. What's it going to be now? Ah, Pentagrad HQ, there you go. So it looks like the robot's gone. Why is it? I can't, I can't, I can't follow it. I'm not here. I'm not here. I don't exist. Leave me alone. Don't, oh, steps, man. Steps are a nightmare. I think this is where I put the EMP. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no, it couldn't have happened that way. Crouch walking, hard as it looks. Harder than it looks in real life. Have you ever tried it, crouch walking? That always annoyed me about Metal Gear Solid games because you didn't, you weren't a for a game that was built around stealth. They didn't introduce crouch walking until the fourth game. Wait, actually no, not the fourth game because there was two before that. The sixth game, the first one was made in like the eighties, and they didn't introduce crouch walking until two thousand eight. So you either had to scoot along the floor or just run around like a nutter. Right. I think that... Excuse me. I think that thing on the, uh, the wall was the EMP. But we got blowed away trying to get to it, so we'll try that again. Don't mind me. I must think again. Yeah, so I want to I want to plug the EMP into that glowing thing on the wall. I know that's what you have to do. But I'm getting shot by a robot whilst I'm doing it. Yeah, the bot shot my corpse, didn't he? Blatantly rude. I mean, what what can I do other than just not go in there? I kind of feel like I have to go in there, though. Oh, it's so fiddly. Hmm. I'd better hide. That worked. Why did he say he'd better hide?
Hmm. I'd better hide. I used to love that the aliens in Halo used to shoot the corpse. Yeah. And someone programmed it to do that, right? It must have been different. Yes, I didn't walk straight into a robot and get murdered straight away. So in order to destroy these robots, I have to wait till they come to me while I'm standing by one of these little nodule things and stick the EMP in it and then they die. Is that really how you do it? Oh, so it's like a it's like a trap, isn't it? So as soon as it comes along, okay. Okay. So you basically set a trap for him. Uh. The yep, they used to laugh hold their guns in the air, and shoot the body. They would have lines they would say as well if they killed you like, it was easier than I thought, and stuff like that. Yep, clever design, isn't it? It's the little things. See? They're not so clever after all. It's the little things that make it count. Now, do I want to take this EMP out? Are they just... Are they just... No, they're dead now. They're dead. I've EMP'd them to death. I mean, I guess I should say because that was that was already quite difficult, wasn't it? Right, so where can we, where can we go now? I really can't see, like, I don't know what it looks like on the screen, but that just looks like a, a void of nothingness. Oh, there we go. I've been I've been illuminated by accidentally pressing this button. Okay, we're not getting roboted here yet. Ah, this is where, this is where we are, isn't it? These guys are experts. This is where we're being interrogated, so we end, we end up back in this room. The torturers are clearly happy in their work. Oh, he's got a bucket of something underneath the chair. I mean, what is that bucket? These guys are real specialists. Okay, I guess we don't want to be in here for much longer. Saw 3. I hate those kind of films, by the way. Those Saw movies and stuff. Hostel, all that kind of... Not into it at all. I love horror movies, but... Uh -oh. Jeez. Did you hear something? Just that little brat in cell one. Ugh. They'll be happy when this babysitting is over. Phew. That was close. Did not want to be in there. From the look of these notices, it seems only cell one is occupied. Now oh, this is the scientist's daughter, isn't it? Hello. You must be Alexandra. Maybe. 
My name's John. Yes. What do you want? I'm here to help you. <laughs> no, really. Alexandra, I... My name's Alex, okay? Nobody calls me Alexandra. Nobody. I'm Alex. Okay, okay. It's Alex. Hey, little girl. Can you tell me about Volgian Freedom Fighters, please? Alex, I'm with the VFF. How do I know you're not with Nagarov? You'll have to trust me. That's asking a lot, isn't it? I've talked to your father, Alex. You've seen him? How is he? He's all right. He's thinking of you all the time. I said I'd find you and see that you weren't harmed. I don't like it here. It feels like they can't wait to start hurt, especially Lukian. Tell me he's about Lukian. He's a thug. He works for Nagarov, but he's in charge around here. Has he hurt you? He's holding me prisoner, so Daddy will do what they want. Poop bucket, yeah, dodgy Russian accents. Well, it's a revolution game where you've seen one before, and now you can see another one where there is definite dodgy accents in every game. I mean, why bother going to, like, finding a Russian to do your Russian accents? Just get the same guy who does the Irish accents and the French accents and the English accents. No one will ever know. What do you know about Nagarov? He pretends he's nice, but I know he wants to hurt me. He keeps saying he'll take me to the seaside. He scares Can you get me out? I'll try to find the controls for the cell doors. Is there anything else you can tell me? There are a lot of guards. They'll kill you if they see you. I'll be careful. And there are robots. One of them flies around down here. I hear it sometimes. I've dealt with those. Yeah, we, we zapped them, didn't we? We zapped them. So we're going to get this little girl. She's the scientist's daughter, isn't she? You. Awaiting cleaning. I don't want to know what the mess is. Take her to the seaside, Blackpool. Yeah, we're going to go to Blackpool. We're going to go on the Big Dipper. Oh, that is, look at that. I just want to turn and look at the door. And look at that. That That's... Uh, Pinging around is it's becoming a little bit annoying. Awaiting cleaning. I don't want to know what the mess is. Poop buckets. Poop buckets. That's what the mess is, John. Okay, this door must be important because we've changed camera angle. The damn thing's locked. I knew things were going too well. How do we get in there? Oh, don't worry, Steve. I, I think I've been sat here and I've missed most of it. <laughs> you know, you just went in one of those really tired moods. But we've uh, we've only died four million times. It's been it's been a tough a tough one. This one. The door. Robots. We've encountered the robots. Oh no! And I've just turned my TV off. <gasps> My TV, there it is. How are you, Steve? You okay? You got. You're gonna come in with a dad joke about robots? <laughs> if we do take down any more enemies, I don't think we will do. Well, actually, we will do because we're gonna take down robots. We have to. It now has to be robot puns. Uh, you got killed by the same guard several times, then by the same robot several times, yeah. Them's the break sometimes, you know. I think it's one of the things, when, you wa when you're watching someone play a game, it always seems that easy, but if you look at how I'm pinging around, and it's expecting me to fight very quick, very efficient killing machines, I, I, it's, it's, I, can't look, I can't even just get through this door. I guess I need to press a button or something. That was really difficult just to get through a door, so not that I'm blaming my tools, not that I'm being a bad workman, and I do like this game, but the controls are appalling, even for a game back then.
I think robot ponds will be much harder, but uh, I don't think we're going to... We might not even see another robot at this point, because I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, we can ask him more questions. We'll have to do that. Alex? There's a door at the end of the corridor. What do you know about it? <laughs> it's locked from the other side. Can you think of any way I can get through? It's impossible. You can't. What do they do if you make a noise down here? They've stopped taking any notice. So how do you call the guards down? There's an emergency button. But they said they'd beat me if I ever used... Alex, if you press the button, I'll take care of the guard. Don't... W you have to promise to rescue me. I promise. Okay, I've done it. What am I doing now? What have you done? What have you done? You pressed the button. Oh, robot, robot. Oh, right, quick. You can't, I can't do anything quick. No, it couldn't have happened that way. You need to be careful with robots. They bite and they are, they are flipping deadly in this game, Steve. They are deadly. In fact, every, everything's deadly in this game, especially the collision detection with the walls. Yeah, that is a really good one. I'm struggling to think of even one. Robots, let's have a think. Robots, what do robots do? Don't forget to retrieve the EMP mine, John. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that random voice. Yeah, someone was developing this game and thought, well, what if they leave the EMP mine behind? Oh, I just time to go get it. Oh, go through the door, John. Don't forget to go through the door, John. Uh, is it, yes, Revolution game is post Broken Sword. Just after Broken Sword 2, I believe. So, Revolution had a really good relationship with Sony because the ver the developers of Virgin weren't very good at making... Uh, so, they didn't get a lot of money from making the, the games with Virgin, whereas they got lots and lots of royalties off the PlayStation version, which really helped them out. So, they just carried on making PlayStation games. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely after... So when I, when this girl calls the guards, what's my plan? Am I just gonna I'm just gonna shoot my way out of there? There was a load of guards that came in. Hello. Maybe. My name's John. Yes. I'm here. No, really. Okay. I'm just skipping I this because we've already done this. He's all right. He's thinking of you. I said I. I don't. Expect. Tell me about. He. He. he Has he? He's. Ho what? He. He keep. Out. Is there? There. There. Uh, and there, one of them flies around down here. I've dealt with. Do you just. Skip, skip. 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 No, it didn't work, did it? I mean, so before we had three guards and a robot that came in, so I'm guessing I'm screwed, basically. Well, we have the two guards that are in there. Should we try and judo chop those guys and then take them out of the equation altogether? I think that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get them out of the way. It might be the worst idea ever, but who cares? Yeah, one robot's too, one robot's too many robots. And we're gonna set off all sorts of alarms. Well, I'll just see what happens, because they these two came steaming out of here. Let's 
Uh oh. Did you hear something? Just that little brat in cell one. <laughs> ah. Okay. So I've completely set off all the alarms. Attention! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! I've got some health. I mean, is this te is this game over really? I mean, can I can I proceed from here? I think I'm going to go put the EMP mine back in there and then try it. If there is a robot, I'm going to come. Going to try and get him. Ah! Go through the door, you stupid man. Relax. You're a secret agent. Just relax. It's just a door. It's just a door. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. You tell me I'm not going through that door. You tell me I've not lined that up perfectly where the, the door is. There it is. Done it. We did it. We went through the door. The door looks massive now. This must be one of those. Attention. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Okay, we get it. Ah, robot. Is he going to He's not going to follow us, though, is he? <laughs> I cannot get through this door. Oh, come on, John. You're a secret agent. Just walk through the door. There we go. Okay, so the next the next plan is we're going to bum rush this robot and leg it past him. Hopefully, find another one of these EMP things and uh, and take the guy out. No free blocks. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna run out of there, run round, go through the door, see what happens after that. Run John, run, run. Oh, don't get <laughs> You know what? what time is it? It is twenty to eleven. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm gonna have a go at one of the other games on this. Uh, on this, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in cold blood because I think we've done quite well though. We got all the way to certain deathsville, <laughs> and uh, but I might try one of the other games. I'm not gonna try Casper again because I think that if anything that deserves its own stream. That is so it's such a good game. We go right back to there. I'm gonna save it on the uh, save scum it a little bit. And let's have a look at what other old PS1 games we could just finish off the stream with. Oh. Yes, one save. Right. 
Let me know if there's anything on there that you feel like you want to have a look at. So we've got Broken Sword. I could play that again. I'm quite happy to play that again. Uh, Broken Sword 2. Casper, which played last week. Cool Borders 2. Crash Bandicoot, a classic. Destruction Derby, a classic. Final Fantasy, not playing that. Uh, never got into that, really. Always did my head in that game. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, ISS Pro. Played a little bit of that. Death Trap Dungeon. In the Hunt. That's a submarine game. With what's in the news lately, that might be worth playing. So if we could play a submarine game. Uh, Incredible Crisis, which is absolute bonkers. Intelligence Cube, really good puzzle game. Jumping Flash. This was a, like a first-person platforming game. I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking In the Hunt might be worth playing, just because it's got submarines in it. M MDK. Murder, Death, Kill. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, love that game so much. Medieval was playing that with my son the other day, and he was uh, absolutely hating it because of the controls. M Medieval 2, Men in Black, not playing that, it's really rubbish. Anything on there strikes anyone's fancy. Masters of the Terrace Kasai, <laughs> which is a Star Wars fighting game. Spider Man, Spider. Silent Hill, another absolute classic game. Tekken 3, Tenchu, The Note. The Note, Twisted Metal, which we did, I think we did the other week, actually. I'm leaning towards In the Hunt because it's got submarines in it. Or MDK, but a murder, death, kill. See what that was like. Uh, Parappa the Rapper. I think I'm going to go with In the Hunt. Or is that completely insensitive to play a game about uh, submarines just because the submarines in the news? I sod it. Hopefully they find the, uh, is it a sub submarine or a submersible they've lost? Apparently uh, the last thing I read was they could hear banging noises. Well, if you can hear banging noises, just go and help them out. £250,000 it costs to do that. £250,000. This is feeling quite a meagery, isn't it? This is looking very pixel, pixely. I wonder if this was a PlayStation game originally. I'm going to turn the sound down because I reckon this is going to be super loud. Super, super loud. Um... Submarine game, very topical. Simpsons predicted the submarine story. Oh, what did they do? Which episode was that? Yeah, The Simpsons is weird, though. Isn't it? Is it just the fact that The Simpsons does so much, has so many episodes that they pretty much did everything? So it kind of feels like they predicted everything. Isn't it? Isn't that a weird thing of like they predicted Trump being a president and they even like had him going down the elevator and stuff like that? What was the episode with the submarine? Right, what can I do? So, I mean, it. look how simple it is. You just go back up to the surface again. <laughs> Whoa. Right, I can shoot up and down. And that fires bombs down at the bottom as well. Is that ex extremely loud in everyone's ears? Oh, we dead. We are dead. I have a feel. I just feel like it's super loud. 
Uh, series 17, Homer gets trapped in a submarine exploring a shipwreck. Oh no. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often, really. I'm trying to think what episode that is. Series 17. I mean, that's quite late on, isn't it? Series 17. I just uh, watched a couple of episodes of that with my kids, The Simpsons. Some of the early episodes. And they just... I don't think they were getting it. I don't think they were quite getting the, uh, the humour. And maybe weren't getting some of the references. You know, like Mendoza and all that kind of stuff, you know. Maybe they're maybe a bit too young for it still. Go watch for these guys. God, there's not a lot of space. Not, oh, I'm still alive. to shoot up anymore. <gasps> you want an odd side scroll? Shoot him up. This is. Right, let's do one with submarines. Because <laughs> I can't half this half the screen. I can't even use. Ah, shooting the bombs seems to be helpful. Yeah. Destroys everything. Look, let's get that. I won't be able to shoot up again. Anything about this game? Is it was it always oh, just on the PS1 or what? Was it on other stuff? I know it's really hard to come by in uh, like eBay and stuff. Is it? Uh, it's quite a rare one. So this would have been like looked down on at the time, wouldn't it? So you would have been um If you bought a PS1, this you wouldn't want to have played this, would you? You'd want to play something cutting edge. And this just wouldn't have been cutting edge. Well it does this this is aged really well. It looks it looks fine. Hard as anything though. So, yeah. Can I turn around? Nope. Oh, it's, it's, it's tough going. Oh, 
Ah, uh, we got a big boss. Yeah, well, it's been pretty fair with the continues, isn't it? This feels like a really direct arcade port, though, doesn't it? Because it's just, it's just, it, it wants more 50p's off me. I do love a bit of R-type, actually. I love R-type. I'm quite good at R-type. You know, just muscle memory-wise. dealt with you um, it's very arcade style 1943 slap fight type of game from the late 80s yeah it's not a typical PS1 game at all no well, we're giving that a go I can't say that I'm like desperate to carry on playing that so I might try a different one um, what about MDK I think that's a fun game. Yeah, it did it just did feel like a bit of a Sega Mega Drive game, didn't it? We gave it a go. It was alright. But we want warpy polygons, don't we? If we're playing a PlayStation game, we want dodgy warpy polygons. And uh really bad pre rendered FMV cutscenes. Actually, just playing in Cold Blood, then I thought uh, the FMB cutscenes were really good in that. Probably one of its, its strongest features. It's just the controls that are letting it down. That's all that's letting it down, really. So remember this: you just fall out of space and shoot stuff. I, I love the uh, the the main character in this. He just looks really cool. I love that helmet thing he's wearing. Or she. Or they. Or them. So, yeah, I would expect it to be on the Sega Mega Drive. I actually found a Sega Mega Drive. So I'm playing on the mini, the mini PlayStation. I actually recovered a Sega Mega Drive from a bin. Someone had thrown away... Uh, the Sega Mega Drive Mini. Chucked it away. Controllers, HDMI cable, all still attached to it. Just binned it off. And so I've now got one of them. It's a really good little thing. I, lo I love these little mini consoles. Especially because, like, for stuff like this, trying to play it in HD. I do, like, just get the PlayStation out, but I, I need a load of extra equipment to make it, to make it upscale. It's just not... It's just not necessary. I do, and, and I know this is technically emulation. Well, it's not technically emulation. It is emulation, but... Um, you know, I've bought most of these games. If you made these games available to me, and not just, like, a remastered version, like the actual game, just said, do you want to play PS1 Crash Bandicoot? It's two, It's five quid. I'd buy it. No, no problem whatsoever. I feel like if... People are complaining about people emulating games from 20 years ago that are no longer available. Well, what else do you want me to do? I want to I want to play your game. Allow me to play your game. Why can I still buy a copy of Jurassic Park which is as old as this game and I can buy that in a, on Blu-ray right now if I wanted to. But I can't buy this game. Why why is that? Saving Private Ryan, that's from like 1997 or something. I, I, they're still producing boxed copies of that film to this day. Why isn't this, games like this, getting sold still? Is it because there's no market for them? People don't want to play them? They just wouldn't sell enough to make it worthwhile? Is it just uh, the technology and the, you know, d on the different systems? But obviously you can emulate games pretty simply. It's been done. 
Why can't this just be available as a download? Right. I'll pay two quid for it. No problem. If I want to play this, I'll, I'll play it. I seem to remember playing this a little on the PC back in the day. I have virtually no memory of it. Well, that's this is what we're here for. Yeah. I wish I had my, still my Sega and Mega Drive. I sold it for 40 quid thinking it was a good deal. You know, it probably was, though, because you probably got a brand new game for your latest console out of that. But, yeah, the, I'm glad that I kept most of my stuff. And I think it's just growing up not having every, every, the, all the latest technology. Oh, hang on. Avoid the radar. What's this? What's this? What's this? What am I doing? I'm gonna need that. Oh, is this is this like a little mini game to decide how you how many bullets you get? Ooh. I was unfortunate to upgrade my Mega Drive to the Philips CTI. Oh my god! How have you recovered from that? What was the Philips CDI really like then? Because all anything that had the word CD in it back then usually didn't go down very well, did it? Strafe left and right. Oh, it's, it's wobbly. It's wobbly, folks. Okay. How do I look? Oh, I know, I know there's a, oh, hello. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's like a, oh my God. MDK's on Steam for six ninety nine. Okay, so this this game is available. That's fine, but not not every game is though, is it? Not every game is on Steam. Some games die. See, I'd pay I'd pay six ninety nine for this. That's fair enough. Is in the hunt on Steam. I mean, maybe maybe that's the thing, isn't it? Maybe maybe stuff like Steam and good old games. <laughs> At least these a lot of these games are brought back. So maybe that is something that's starting to happen a lot more. Which I think is a really good thing, because I just I love old games and I don't I don't I, I don't have a PS5. I've not really felt compelled to buy one. I guess when something comes out where I go, oh, I really want to play that. Um like Death Stranding 2 was one of those things, but really not that fussed. There's like a there's like a trillion games I've just never played. I'm quite happy to sit and play them. Uh, oh no, CDI. Should have kept the Mega Drive, yeah. In fact, any other device with a CD in the name would have been better, except the Commodore CD TV. Uh, Burn Cycle was pretty good, and the only game I remember actually enjoying. It was the first thing I had you could play with the video CDs on it, which I thought was amazing compared to VHS. Yep. I just, I just, the CDI and all those, all those consoles that I see, they, they, they were all using um, full motion video, weren't they? And that was the big thing. Every time I think of a, a game on the first early games on CD, I was thinking Night Trap. <laughs> and all that controversy that went with that. I think to me, the PS1 was the first console that really like had 3d graphics that i remember being a big deal how'd you get through here? just shoot your way through oh that's like a nuke look around oh 
Right, now we did the right thing. Apple. This is like... Ugh, sickening. Practice room. Okie dokie. Shoot targets using sniper mode. Okay, will do. Yes, yes, sir. I've still got some PC games on CD. Jedi Knight games, yep. Jedi Knight 2 was brilliant. I think you didn't you stream all that as well. Oh, he's got a little target on his head. Oh, sniper over the red glass. Okay. Yeah, this is this game's this game's quite good. How do I snipe it over the red glass? Is it up here? Ah, okay. Now, actually, for a PS1 game, this is incredibly far draw distance, is it not? Is that not actually for the, for the time? I know it's janky as anything, and I think the textures have really suffered for it, but I think... I don't remember many PS1 games where you could see that far into the game. I streamed it, but I still have to play the Steam version. No CD drive in the PC anymore, no? Yeah, I see it. You see CD-ROM games in, like, charity shops. You're like, well, what do you do with that now? What does, that, what does this mean? Okay, can I break the glass with the hand grenade? Yeah, there we go. This game's intuitive. Mortar. Right, shooty, shoot, shoot. Ah. I mean, it wants me to do something up there, doesn't it? So I'm guessing, it, does it want me to... Th oh, look at that. That's not right, is it? Shoot a mortar through the hole in the wall. You don't want to tell me how to shoot a mortar, I guess? Oh, here we go. We're getting a decent tutorial on how to play this thing. Oh, I don't want to do this, do I? I don't want to waste these. Shoot the generator. Um, I have a Blu-ray burner that cost me, that, that cost four hundred pounds and never burned a Blu-ray with it. I think, oh my god, four hundred pounds for a Blu-ray burner! Wow. Why have you never used it then?
That's it. Oh, an infl it's an inflatable thing. <laughs> it looks like. A dummy decoy. Oh, lovely. I'm not sure what our character is or, or what we're doing, but well, I'm having fun doing it. It's, it's, it's a bit janky. It's a bit hard to control. It's a bit. It's a bit oversensitive, I think. He's not as bad as John Cord, but he's up there. I wanted to use it to back up stuff, but things like OneDrive X really took over. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Really took over. Struggling with these this platforming bit. You can actually see for miles in this game. I know that doesn't seem like much, but in a PS One game, you can never normally see this far. <laughs> It's really suffering though in terms of like the, the texture quality and stuff and the polygon count. I think it's they've really had to limit that, but I guess you just needed to be able to see it. This is a PC port, I guess. You just really can't see what things are until they come right up to your face. I don't think Blu-ray's retro. Yeah. I mean, it's retro to some people. I, you, you, the thing is, I've started working with people now who are born in, were born in like 19, not even 90, like early 2000s. And just don't remember anything. They don't remember a time before apps and mobile phones. And that seems mad. I just felt like the world was quiet then. Do you remember having to like go and meet people in a pub at a time and hope for the best that everybody showed up? And if they didn't, you just didn't question it. They just weren't out. And now you got these like text messages like, I'm outside! Ten minutes away. And you have to ring each other to do it. You have to telephone each other. To arrange to meet. Or you tell them, at, say at school, you'd be like, we're meeting at this time. But there's actually people alive now who just have no concept of that. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to, oh, these are generators. These are generating enemies, aren't they? I'm gonna defeat this little section of the game, and then I'm gonna call it a day. This is this is more fun than I remember it. It's ah oh, no, we're dead. I remember when you tried to meet your friend, and if you couldn't find them, you had no clue where they were. <laughs> yeah. Them were the days, certainly. They could have been dead for all you know. God, yeah. Meeting in a pub. Well, I'll meet you at eight. If they didn't show up, you didn't show up. Crazy. Crazy times. I think these things changed everything, didn't they? These mobile phones. Once they, those came along, you could uh, micromanage and find out where everyone is at any given time and second of the day. Right. That's, we've done a, done a good two hours there. Got through a bit of In Cold Blood. Oh, look at that. Wow. They are some spangly graphics for the PlayStation 1 in 1995, I tell you. 
I bet this looks actually okay on a PC. I bet the, the Steam version looks, look, looks really decent still. Some good effects there. I used to have to take my pager to the pub if I was on call for work. Yeah, pagers were huge, weren't they, for a while? I never had a pager. I never was a, had a pager. The only person I know who had a pager was a was a drug dealer. Jesus. Wow. I mean, are they still a thing? I guess they're still kind of quite. Well, you know, you just you have your Apple Watch, don't you? Now that just does that. Yeah, pages, man. I just ha I'm happy that I'm young. I'm old enough to remember a time before all mobile phones were around. And I'm totally addicted to my phone. I'm, I'm just like everybody else. But it's just really sad when you when you go to like. I took my son swimming and we're sat on the gantry at the top and just no one's watching their kids swim they're all they're all like that and I look down at what people are doing and they're just they're doing nothing they're just on stupid news websites or on Facebook or on Twitter and I do it too don't get me wrong but it's just wasting time the amount of time I've wasted on this thing is just incredible I'd rather waste my time playing games that are 30 years old and no one remembers. <laughs> Pages no longer needed. Or PDAs, yeah. Well, they were good ideas at the time. Right, I'm going to go. i uh, been quite tired tonight, so I apologise if I've not been my sparkling best. But I appreciate everyone that, that pops along to these things. It's really good fun. We're going to get... Get through in cold blood. I'm gonna. Have, I might have a little practice at it and see if I can figure that next bit out before I come to it. Cause definitely bumbled through that whole section there. <laughs> Couldn't get through a door at one point. So you know that's pretty embarrassing when you're a secret agent, isn't it? Really. But anyway, I will. I will see you next time. Next Thursday, we'll be back with some in cold blood. Bye bye. See you later. Thank you. <laughs>